Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I am back with another homeschooling STEM video. Now, I'm going to talk about the Magic School Bus. I love the Magic School Bus DVDs, okay? Really love the Magic School Bus. More DVDs. Really, same thing on all the DVDs, but I got all the sets, okay? Love the Magic School Bus. We had a bunch of Magic School Bus books. Whenever people are talking about um, doing STEM with young children, I actually always suggest that you go out and get Magic School Bus books, DVDs. They are amazing. They're great. They're um, highly accurate. They're older, so like when you have the Magic School Bus, when they go into the solar system. Okay, they're going to visit Pluto. They're going to call Pluto a planet. But that's just because Pluto used to be a planet, um, that what we call a planet in our solar system. So it's not their fault that things changed and, and, you know, they didn't have a chance to go back and edit. So I actually really, really love Magic School Bus DVDs and books. Now, with that said, um, you guys know sometimes I, I, I purchase a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And sometimes it doesn't work out so good. But I still want to show those things because even though it didn't work for us and didn't work for, you know, my kids, it may work for you and yours or it may save you some money. So a lot of people ask about the um, Magic School Bus Science Kit. And they have like a science club where they will send you a kit every month. And... Um, the kid has everything that you need to do it. Um, like, this one was on water, I think. Uh, and, you know, this kit was on, uh, this was, these are from the Young Scientist Club. Okay, so really it has, you know, all the things that you need in the kit. They're, they're pretty much self-contained. And the, the, the kits are on acids and bases, air, bacteria and fungi, the human body, lights, rainbows and mirrors, solids, liquids, gases, stars and planets, water, volcanoes, weather stations. So there's tons of kits, lots of different things, and it pretty much has what, you know, the things that you're going to need to do the kit. They're, they're scholastic kits. I actually got my Young Scientist Club um, set from Homeschool Buyers Co-op where it was half off so I think it was a hundred dollars for the year but did y'all notice something about the kits I was showing y'all what is this okay see something if you didn't notice they're still in the plastic we opened one kit and we didn't like it. I mean, the kids didn't like it. They, they thought the experiments were a little bit simple, and they didn't think they that the, the experiments aligned completely with um, the topic. And I will, I will admit that one of the reasons that my kids probably really didn't fall for these kits was because we have a ton of science kits. Like, we have a ton of stuff. Not only do we have actual science kits, we actually have a lot of just science materials so that my kids can do their own projects when they want. Um, they have a, a science shed. My husband um, gave them, we have a shed on our property and he gave that to them so they can go out there and do scientific experiments and stuff like that. So we just have a ton, ton, ton of science stuff. So these kits might work great for people who you go, okay, we don't just have borax sitting around. We don't have test tubes. We don't have, you know, um, motors and, and gears and, and balloons and, you know, all this, all, this, all this sort of stuff. So it's great to have all the pieces that you need. Like in this one, there's balloons, there's a ball, there's a straw, there's a, um, a eyedropper. You know all the stuff that you would need and so if you are going okay I don't have eyedroppers if that's you these kits really may work for you um I've seen you these but uh but for us it just really wasn't for us um I don't want to bash it because I'm not saying that the kits are bad 
Um, I don't know that they would be a good fit for older children because the experiments are kind of simple and you your older child may be able to predict what's going to happen and, and by older I mean like over 10 but for the five six seven age range maybe even the eight age, age range it may really be great and work well for you the kits do not align completely with the books so it's not like you can take the kit on the human body and align it with or uh, with the um, digestion uh, magic school bus um, uh, video you may not be able to take like the germs um, kit and align it with the human body um, one where they did germs they went into Ralphie's body yes I, I, I have memorized every episode but so that was another thing that my kids didn't exactly like because things didn't align exactly with the videos and the books that we had so a lot of people like the kits they they're still making them so it's good a lot of kids like getting things in the mail and, and that's one thing that's cool they come in the mail every month you'll get one every month um the club is for 12 months so we ended up with 12 kits and like i said some people really like it some people really enjoy it some people think it's great it wasn't um it wasn't great for us but um your mileage may vary but I just wanted to show that so that people could kind of see what it was. And I know a lot of times people go, okay, what, what's in that? And that's a big reason why I do the videos because I usually have it. So I can show you what's in it. So you can go, oh, okay, yeah, that'll be a waste of our money. Or, yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. And so this is one of those things where it's something that I didn't love. Lots of people love it. It wasn't a good fit for us. But I did want to show folks um, in case you were thinking about purchasing it. But definitely uh, the DVDs. Two thumbs up. Um, the books, two thumbs up. The kits, um, neutral for us. So, hope this helps. This is Dr. J, and I'm out.